When asked in a job interview, why did you leave your last job? How would you professionally say that it's because it was low-key a cult? I found that the culture, the organization was not the right fit for me. The atmosphere encouraged conformity over independent thought and critical thinking. I often felt afraid to speak up when I had concerns that something was wrong. I was afraid of retaliation for expressing an alternative perspective after seeing my co-workers experience it. This occurred even in situations where I thought my colleagues communicated with management professionally. There were expectations from management that I contribute and make sacrifices in areas I felt were unprofessional or unethical. They don't give a shit why you left. They just want to see if you're smart enough to realize that. Make up some bullshit that doesn't make them sound good or bad. The worst thing to do is to shit on your old job. The truth is, most people are basically the same and everyone hates their job. If you're the type of person to call your old job a cult and act like your old boss had it out for you personally, you're gonna looking entitled. Even if that's the truth, they don't care. They had a particularly rigid operational structure that didn't seem invested in innovation or efficiency, so I felt my skill set would be more useful in a setting that was more forward thinking. You know what I mean, like, looking at what works in the present, but also noticing trends that may emerge in the future. If you get the job, send me an imagito, good luck. Do you need to give them that much information? Or can you just say seeking more hours or moved or pursuing other opportunities? Cults are no joke and can mess you up for years. You don't owe these kinds of specific answers to future employers any more than you did your old one. Sincerely, an XJW. Something along the lines you were conflicted with the workplace culture or work-life balance. They were intrusive etc. Whatever it is that made this place low-key a cult that would give you a segue to say like, it's a cult because of they wanted me to read the book, or attend the meeting, or whatever. I'm someone who finds tremendous value in working in an environment where I truly believe in our mission. Towards the end of my tenure I found it hard to do so. Now, I am looking forward focusing on companies that have a strong mission statement and leadership that I can trust to achieve that mission. The direction in which the company's plans for my team were headed, I didn't see a role for myself that would keep me as contributive as I felt I should be given my current level in the long term. T.S. Almost every company's leadership is basically a cult getting high on their own self-congratulatory BS. In my experience, when I conduct interviews, and the candidate actively badmuffs their old company. Sometimes they really did come from a shitty company, but oftentimes, it's the candidate who was the problem. Like a person constantly talking about all their crazy exes. Kaney as insert bullshit turn here. We generate enough revenue for the company with our skill set of communication, teamwork, networking, and adaptability in insert whatever industry you want here. You don't, you give the same generic crap about it not being a good culture fit. Or you advanced as far as you could at that company. Or some bullshit like that. That question cannot help you. Only hurt you. So no point risking saying anything remotely controversial. I wouldn't just say that you didn't think you were a good fit. Or you wanted to go in a different direction. Any time you disparage a former employer. You're going to make your interviewer think, what might he say about us if when he leaves in the future? There was tremendous pressure to recruit my friends and family to join the company at significant expense to them. My direct sales were fine, and I was very reluctant to badger people in my personal life into making a substantial commitment. I got tired of making frou through coffees and watching people pay exorbitant amounts of money and the homeless were right outside in need, while we roll raw the customers as peon partners. I care about the underdogs. I'm really looking for a workplace culture that recognizes individual contributions and offers more growth opportunities. If you don't mind me asking, how do you see that mindset fitting in here at XYZ? You tell them it was low-key a cult. If the employer requires jerk-off corporate speak answers, and you shouldn't want the job. If they ask that question and don't like the truth, then you dodge the bullet. I wouldn't say anything remotely close to that. 
even if it's true. Insulting your previous employer rarely looks good to a prospective employer. And in this case, you likely will just look like a nut. I wouldn't say anything remotely close to that. Even if it's true. Insulting your previous employer rarely looks good to a prospective employer. And in this case, you likely will just look like a nut. This is usually not a question to answer honestly. Talk about how you learned a lot and want to use those skills and continue to grow. Talk about the positive changes you want to experience. I know Reddit want you to believe HR is the enemy, but the people that also lurk this shit, or is paid too little. You are too professional, tell your boss he is a cunt, or you are a slave. I became concerned when the FBI began targeting us for alleged cult activities, and Eldar manager Ezekiel said we needed to hide the virgins and I didn't want to go to the secret cellars. Tell them because it was a cult and you were scared. Then you won't have your previous job nor the job you applied for. Play it safe unemployed and away from those cults. I felt like I'd reached my maximum potential in that environment, and that to grow professionally and personally I'd have to seek opportunities elsewhere. Health you can make it rehabilitation mental health issues if that becomes an issue because that's technical what it could be. Be honest and literally say, and I quote, IT was a low-key cult, it's called honesty, and I would hire you immediately for that honesty. I really didn't like the work environment and felt like I was being ostracized for not being the same as everyone else. My previous job no longer met my long-term goals and was no longer compatible with my plans for a long-term career. I'm looking for new opportunities. You can excel in the job interview without trashing your previous employer. I'm not here to talk about my last job now, am I? Let's talk about what I can bring to this new job. The company culture there was extremely unconventional and I became uncomfortable being there. You don't, they don't care. They care how you'll talk about them though, be diplomatic. I learned a lot, don't need to say what an AM now ready for new growth experiences. I want to find a company where the goals are more centered around helping clients. I realized that the prevalent corporate culture went against my personal morals. They were too low-key for me. I am looking for the real or inexperience. S. I didn't feel the environment was the right fit for me to advance and grow. Probably I left because the company culture and I were not a good fit. It was a hierarchical hide-bound operation with no room for advancement. I wasn't a fan of the refreshments provided at the yearly party. Our paths to success were heading in different directions. My values and the company's priorities no longer aligned. Someone pulled an upper decker in the men's bathroom, 